Hello everybody, how are you? As you can see, I have some friends with me today. And one of my friends here at the library, she had all of these Dr. Seuss characters. Do you guys recognize any of them? Who's this green guy right here? Is that the Grinch? And there's Max, his trusty dog. Who else can you spot? What about, there's Cindy Lou Who? And here's the cat in the hat back here. And his buddies, Thing One and Thing Two. Here's Sam I Am. He does not like green eggs and ham, right? Or maybe he does, right? <laughs> he just has to try it. Sometimes you have to try things. This is Horton. Horton, here's a Who. You guys, have you guys seen the Lorax? We have some fun friends with us today that were all created by the author, Dr. Seuss. And I'm sure you guys have read Dr. Seuss books and seen Dr. Seuss movies. I love the Lorax, that's my favorite Dr. Seuss movie. So um, the reason why we are talking about Dr. Seuss today and hanging out with some Dr. Seuss fun friends is because next week is Dr. Seuss's birthday. On March 2nd, which is Tuesday, that is his birthday. And he even wrote a book titled Happy birthday to you. We're not gonna read this one today, but you should come to the library and pick it up if you haven't ever heard it, or if you have. So today we're gonna to celebrate Dr. Seuss. And before we get started, let's sing our song. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Okay, so you guys hear about Dr. Seuss and you hear the name Dr. Seuss, but have you ever seen Dr. Seuss? I even had a picture of him in my head, but I wasn't sure if that was the right person. So I looked up Dr. Seuss. We have a book here at the library that talks about Dr. Seuss, and this is him when he was younger. And this is a fun book. Um, you can come and check this book out. And here is a book when he was older. So a few fun things about Dr. Seuss is he says that he got his funny sense of humor um, from his mom. And his mom, when she was younger, she worked in a bakery, which sounds so cool. Her dad owned a bakery and um, she would do silly rhymes and things. And then when she grew up and had kids, she would tell her kids these silly, funny rhymes um, that she would recite in the bakery. So anyway, that's one fun thing about Dr. Seuss. So he was an interesting guy. So first of all, one story that I have always loved to read to my kids is there's a walket in my pocket. And my kids always loved to pretend that they were one of the characters from the book. So when I, as I'm reading, there's a walk in my pocket, think about which character you would be. Dr. Seuss is, was always so good at making silly characters, right? Crazy silly characters. So here we go. Did you ever have a feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a Nero in your bureau. That's, that's like a dresser, right? Or a wasit in your closet. Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jurin in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a lock behind the clock. And that Zelf upon that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That looks a little spooky to me in the dark. <laughs> That's the kind of house I want to live in. There's a Nink in the sink and a Zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the, zot, the, the yacht in the pot. 
but the yaddle in the bottle, some are friendly and some are not. <laughs> I like the zabel on the table and the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All the nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that noose brush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. How do you guys think you'd brush your teeth with that guy standing on your toothbrush? The only one I'm really scared of is that vug under the rug. And that Quimney up the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal scoots down the hall. He looks pretty fast. <laughs> That's a fast scooter. But the Yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. This is my favorite. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. Those guys are having a great time together. Can you see what they're playing? Tic-tac-toe over here. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. and the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it, that's the kind of house I live in, and I hope we never leave it. Isn't that a cute little guy? The Zillow on his pillow. So Dr. Seuss is so good at rhyming and he makes up his own words, which was always super fun. So now we're going to sing a song about Dr. Seuss, and it's kind of, it's going to be like bingo, but instead we're going to say Suso. <laughs> and when Dr. Seuss was born, Seuss was actually his middle name. It wasn't his last name, so. Okay, so this says Seuss on it. S-E-U-S-S. -S. And let's put Dr. Seuss up here, since we know what he looks like now. See if he'll stick there. Okay, so we're gonna sing and we're gonna take away the letters as we go, okay? He just wants to flop around, doesn't he? Okay, and I found this cute fish that I thought kind of looked like a Dr. Seuss kind of fish. And he makes noise. So when we don't say the letter, I'm gonna shake this, okay? Okay, should we try it? Okay, here we go. There was a man who was an author and Seuss was his name. Oh, S-E-U-S-S, 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 and Seuss was his name. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's take one down. There was a man who was a writer, and Seuss was his name, oh. E-U-S-S, 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 and Seuss was his name, oh. Goodbye, E. Maybe, maybe we're gonna rip it. There was a man who was creative and Seuss was his name, oh. U-S-S, U-S-S, U-S-S and Seuss was his name, oh. There, oh, we gotta get rid of our U. Let's see if it'll come off easier, okay. There was a man who was so silly and Seuss was his name, oh. S S S S and Seuss was his name. Oh, we can get it. Some of these are want to be 
tricky. Okay. Okay. There was a man who made me laugh, and Seuss was his name. Oh. S. S. S and Seuss was his name. Oh. Okay, here's our last one. No letters this time. Maybe at home you can just hum or bop your head. Okay, you ready? There was a man who was an author and Seuss was his name. Oh. And Seuss was his name. Oh. Okay, thanks for <laughs> singing along with me. I hope you had fun. We are going to read one more story. And um, this is a book that we have here at the library. And it has, it's the big orange book of beginner books. And it has some different stories by Dr. Seuss. This was a story that he wrote. It was one of the first um, stories that he wrote. It's called Ten Apples Up on Top. And if you see, it says by Dr. Seuss, but then right here it says written by Theo Lesage. I always wondered who Theo Lesage was, but actually Dr. Seuss's last name is Giesel and the Lesage is Giesel backwards. And Theo was his first name. So that was kind of a tricky thing he did. So let's read 10 apples up on top. One apple up on top, two apples up on top, one, two. Look you, I can do it too. Look see, I can do three, 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 I see, I see. Hmm. How many do you think you guys could do? I could maybe do one. You can do three, I can do more. You have three, but I have four. That dog's feeling pretty good about himself, isn't he? Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Hmm. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? Ooh, now there's a tiger involved. I am so good. I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good. They will not drop. Five, six, seven. Fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven too. And now see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Now look, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drive. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. You think that's possible? Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make it 10. Look, 10 apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. <laughs> They're all working together now, aren't they? Look out, look out, I see a mop. Uh-oh, that is not a happy bear. I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out, you one and all. Come on, come on, come down this hall. We must not let our apples fall.
out of our way, we cannot stop. We are, we cannot let our apples drop. This is no, this is not good. What will we do? We want to get our apples too. Uh oh, here come the birds. <laughs> they will get them if we let them come. We cannot let them get them. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. <laughs> we have a lot of trouble. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop, not one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. Can you imagine if you saw that? All those animals chasing each other with apples on their heads. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all of our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop. <laughs> that does not look good. <laughs> Crash. Look, 10 apples all on us, on us all. What fun, we will not let them fall. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So that was 10 apples up on top. So this next week, I hope you'll take a minute to celebrate Dr. Seuss. You can watch a movie, you can make green eggs and ham. There's lots of fun things you could do. Just pick up a book. Um, he was a really great author and really silly and wrote some amazing, happy books. So. Happy birthday to Dr. Seuss. Next week, we are going to have some fun with rainbows. So if you guys come into the library, you can pick up a little kit with some rainbow strips and half a plate and some cotton balls to stretch out and glue and make into clouds. So come into the library and pick up your rainbow set and meet me here next week and we will have some fun talking about rainbows and rainbow stories. So, and maybe some fun rhymes or songs. So, um, I guess it's time for our goodbye song. Okay, you ready? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next time, we'll see you next time, we'll see you next time right here at story time. See you guys later.